perfect. That's just how you want them. Melt in your mouth. Alright YouTube, I just got off work, been thinking about these tenderloins I got in the fridge all day. I'm going to clean this place up a little bit. As you can see, I'm a little bit of a mess here. You know, busy with life. Everybody goes through that. Uh, going to do something a little different. Going to do a venison tenderloin salad, if you will. So, let me clean up and stay tuned. No, I don't do windows either. joining me on another Out of the Wild and Into the Kitchen. I'll grab my tenderloins. These have been marinating overnight. And I'll get you a closer look, but I'm going to let them kind of warm up a little bit before I start cooking them. Just be a little more tender that way. Stay tuned. Alright, here's our star of the show. Now you can use beef, but today we're using venison tenderloin. And we're going to do these in the house today, a little out of the wild and into the kitchen. Just been raining a lot lately. Everything's so muddy. And we're going to do this in a cast iron, but I got a special style. It's a grill cast iron. I don't like using a flat pan on any kind of beef or venison. To me, it gives it an irony taste, and it changes the texture of it. First thing I want to do is coat my pan with some good old healthy butter. Like I say, you can see this is a grill style cast iron. Only way to do beef or venison. You can let that get super hot so we can sear it. And these aren't going to take long at all. See, it's nice and hot. Drop these bad boys in there. Take a look at these. 
I only want to flip them that one time and that's it. After the sear. I'm going to call them done, guys. They'll be perfect inside. He wants these a, a rare to a medium rare. Got them all plated up, and the trick is now don't touch them. Don't cut into them. Just leave them go. Let them cool down for maybe three, four minutes. That one there I might just have to taste. Mm. Awesome. favorite greens. I'm kind of doing a little lighter version of a venison meal. Put them in there. Time to cut into these venison tenderloins. Oh, look at that. Perfect. That's just how you want them. Melt in your mouth. I like cutting them at an angle like that. When you're doing a solid like this. cut like butter. My dog is dying over here. There's a little olive oil on it. Mainly on the salad part. With the olive oil. Balsamic vinegar. Glaze. It's great on chicken, venison, everything. Great as a salad. Great to dip bread in. Stuff is thick. Put a little dab of that in the meat in the middle. A little cracked pepper.
salt. almost forgot I got my sour monkey to go with this a 9.5 alcohol victory brewing company downtown PA sour monkey I figure that go just perfect with my light meal alright time for the taste test almost has a wine taste to it. Perfectly done. A little sour monkey. It does have a nice little citrusy taste. 9.5, that should uh, make you feel pretty good. You're a good girl. It's very gentle when she takes food out of your hand. Can't forget about you. As always, guys, really appreciate you being out there. Thanks for your comments. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure you smash that notification bell so you know when my next video is out. I'm Nick with Whitetail Bushcraft. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next video.